Hey, what's up? Uh, this is going to be a short video today. Um, I just downloaded the Cubase 12 trial version because I was curious about something. Uh, one of the new edit editing features uh, was this phase accurate audio or phase coherent audio work, um, which if you saw my very, very first drum video that I've ever created uh, was talking about how drum editing uh, in Cubase is awesome, except for if you try to use the quantize panel, to edit your drums and lock them to the grid, it doesn't work, right? It, everything loses face. So um, since Cubase 12 has come out, I've seen a whole lot of videos about how you can do face coherent editing and, and it, it's just all uh, grabbing hit points over here and over here and over here, uh, but it's not actually um, using the quantize panel. So this video is all about using the quantize panel to see if we can lock these drums to the grid. Uh, now these drums are pretty well pocketed like they're this is just how they were played 10 years ago or so um, never edited locked to the grid like here here we go like they're already pretty tight like they were played really really well um, but let's see if I can't go ahead and make them a little tighter with my face coherent uh, bloggedy blue so I'm going to do this the way I would normally do it uh, in prior versions. Uh, I'm going to open up my um, edit window and I'm going to do some hit point detections. So right here looks good, looks good. I don't want that hit. So we're going to edit my threshold so that only kicks are, are counted, right? That looks like it's capturing everything pretty good. Cool, so my kick's done. Let's check my snare. Need to edit these this threshold pretty well. Um, and I'm only gonna do this for a brief second. If you hold Alt-N on Windows and probably Command-N in Mac, uh, you can do like that uh, tab to transient or tab to hit points. So cool, not picking up any errant snare hits. So my snare top and my kick out are going to be the two things that I quantize to. So let's get ourselves a nice little loop going. Um, the phrase starts right here. So I'm going to turn on group editing, turn on phase coherent. Uh, I don't know what this means. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel real quick just because I don't know what's going on right there okay so those are all the same length it's probably because I still have some edits in here uh, you know what screw it I will go ahead and I'm going to take all my drums and I'm gonna throw them into a new track version just so that I don't ruin everything. Turn on my face coherent stuff and let's see what goes on here. This is exciting. I'm very excited. If this works, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Okay, so it just bounced out all the audio and rendered, rendered them down. So that's cool, I like that. Made sure that they're all the same stuff, same length. Cool, that's sounding pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's go to the very beginning. And let's just loop uh, until about there. So we're going to take this, we're going to open up my quantize panel, and snare top, snare trigger, don't care about you. All right, that's going to be my range. And we're going to audio warp quantize to there. Wait, I don't think that worked. What's my... Oh man, did it work? 
Did it work? I think it might have worked. disappointing you can listen listen to the snare uh, trail and let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this up on a loop so it just plays back and I'm gonna go back and forth between quantized and unquantized so start with quantized I'll be damned it does work it does work um it's just a couple of those little hits in there were a little a little flubbed a little not great um but the phase accurate thing is phase accurate phase coherent what was i saying so that means if your drummer is pocketed pretty much the entire way through which like let's look at this region right there um So we get that flub right there, right? So though, yeah, obviously we need to do a little bit of adjusting because he's a little bit too far ahead and that's not recognizing. So if we check it out visually, that guy goes there and I would need to actually, whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. I would need to take the uh, warp, uh, warp markers and pull this one back a little bit. Can I just delete that one? I'm sorry, I'm brand new on uh, Cubase 12, so I, uh -oh. What did I do? I think I just killed something. On tempo, free warp, there we go. And then, boom, grid. I just totally killed something on my. Just totally killed something on my grid. What did I do? There we go. Okay. Now. Awesome. Okay, so the warp panel, the quantized panel, in conjunction with our little free warp editor, <sighs> is the bee's knees. Um, yeah, like this is this is gonna save if your if your drummer is tight. Like you have to have a tight drummer first off. Uh, but if you have a tight drummer, um, this is going to save 
so much time and it's going to get rid of bad edits and nasty edits and like little cut off thing like little ch -ch 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 hits that get cut off oh shit i might have to pay for this update now and instead of waiting for the summer sale which hopefully they do um but this is i'm excited I, and you should be too the quantize panel is now usable i can't i can't stress how excited i am that this quantize panel for audio warping multi-track audio is finally fucking usable i'm sorry for cussing right then i'm very excited uh anyways um thanks for joining me and watching this dumb little 10 minute hopefully it's only 10 minutes uh i just felt the need to show this off because nobody has shown this off yet cool thank you very much i'm out of here have a good whatever today is